everybody, um, it's Susie, Katrina and Fiona back again and um, we're going to play the string beginner and learner parts now for the gnome along with the SCO players video. Um, this is another tricky movement, lots of um, changes of speed and changes of time signature that we need to pay attention to. Um, so when Gordon counts us in this time, he's going to count us in as if it was one in a bar, but we're going to count in three so that you get used to the feel of that. So it's a, it's a very fast three, okay? And then when we get to figure 11 and other places where it goes into four, four, we'll be counting in four. Uh, is there anything else we need to say? I think this? maybe just notice there are some places in my part where it says pizzicato, for example, bar uh, figure eight. And then back to arco, which means you've got to use your bow again on the strings. So uh, that'll take a little bit of practice if it's something you're not used to, but definitely worth noticing which ones are pizzicato and which ones are arco with the bow. Very good. I think that was all I had to say. Okay, brilliant. I'll press play and Gordon will then count us in, which will give me a chance to get ready. Okay, um, there we go. No, it's not working. <laughs> Technology. He's paused. He is paused. Hang on a second. It's because I hadn't fully unlocked yet. There we go. I'll give you two bars in. In one. So one. One.
well done, done, everybody. Brilliant. Nothing happens at figure 18. That's quite confusing, isn't it? We've got a bars read, but nobody plays there. So you, you hear the boys on the video go, 18, and that is 18, and there's a rest there. So that's quite confusing for knowing when to come in at the end. Yeah, well really done, is. though. Fantastic. Good work. It's tricky. The bowl thing is, is tricky as well. But it is quite hard. It is quite hard. But I'm sure you can practice this as much as you like. So if you're finding it difficult, keep, keep working at it. And you can ask your teachers for help with it as well. I'm sure your teachers will be happy to help you if you've got some Absolutely, and tell your teachers they can join in too because there's because there's parts for uh, grown-ups who are really good at playing their instruments as well, just like the SCO are playing their parts. There's parts just like that. Do you know the other thing you could do is you could send in messages using the Scottish Chamber Orchestra have got a Facebook page and they'll be looking out for that. So you can send questions either through that or through our Facebook page at caithnessmusic.com if you've got particular technical questions you want help from. And um, one of them about, you know, I don't know whether Nikita can tell you something about how to hold your bow when I you're doing it. I think he probably could. <laughs> things like that. It's, like rocket science, isn't it? So you can send them messages and I'm sure you'll get answers back from those guys as well. And they're really, really nice and they'll be very happy to help you. Brilliant. So, next, see you next week for the Old Castle? The Old Castle and another promenade, another walk around the exhibition and then another painting. Okay, see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.